Hi everyone, in this video we will solve this problem. 1 power x plus 10 power x equals to 100 power x. How should we solve this problem? Firstly, we know that 1 power x always equals to 1. For example, if x equals to 0, 1 power 0 equals to 1. If x equals to negative 2, 1 power negative 2 equals to 1. For example, if x equals to 3, 1 power 3 equals to 1. That's why 1 power x always equals to 1. And we know that 100 equals to 10 power 2. And let's put it here. 1 plus 10 power x equals to 10 power 2 power x and we know that a power x brackets power y equals to a power x times y for this formula 10 power 2 brackets power x equals to 10 power 2x and if we move this other side of our equation minus 10 power x minus 1 equals to 0. If we think that 10 power x equals to y, then 10 power 2x equals to y squared. Why? Because 10 power 2x equals to 10 power x power 2 and it does y squared. And let's put this here. y squared minus y minus 1 equals to 0. This is a quadratic equation and we may solve this equation. a equals to 1, b equals to negative 1 and c equals to negative 1. And for the solution formula y1 and 2 equals to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a c over 2 a 2 and it does 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 2 this is our y1 and 2 and our y equals to 10 power x now here 10 power x equals to 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 2. And here x equals to log from 10 base 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 2. We know that 1 minus square root of 5 is negative. That's why this is x1 and 2. Uh, that's why log from 10 base 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 is not real number. x1 equals to log from 10 base 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. This is our x1. And let's find x2, which is x2. equals to log from 10 base 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. This is equal to log from 10 base square root of 5 minus 1 over 2 times negative 1. This is true equality. And we know that log from c base a times b equals to log from c base a plus log from c base b. For this formula, this is equal to log from 10 base square root of 5 minus 1 over 2 plus log from 10 base negative 1. We know this, we may calculate this. And we should find log from 10 base negative 1. This is equal to log 
from 10 base square root of 5 minus 1 over 2 plus now let's find this log from 10 base negative 1 equals to what we know that log from a base b equals to ln b over ln a for this formula log from 10 base negative 1 equals to ln negative 1 over log from 10 base log ln ln 10 i'm sorry ln 10 and it does ln 10 here and ln negative 1 in the numerator of our fraction ln negative 1 and we know ln 10 we may calculate it and we should find ln negative 1 and let's find it ln negative 1 equals to what if we think that this is equal to y then e power y equals to negative 1 and we know from complex numbers that e power i times x equals to cosine x plus i sine x if we compare these two equation y equals to i times x and negative 1 equals to cosine x plus i times sine x you can see that the left side of our equation has no imaginary part that's why cosine x should equal to negative 1 if cosine x equals to negative 1 it means this is this is pi x equals to pi plus of course 2 pi n plus 2 pi n and n belongs to integers this is our x but we should find y for uh, finding ln negative 1 y equals to i times x i times pi plus 2 pi n and n belongs to integers now let's put it above ln 1 ln, ln negative 1 over ln 10 and this is equal to i times pi plus 2 pi n over ln 10 and n belongs to integers this is our second answer our answers is x1 equals to log from 10 base 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and our x2 equals to i times pi plus 2 pi n over ln 10 or we may write it pi times i times 1 plus 2 n over ln 10 and n belongs to integers this is our answers thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel and thumbs up my video